Well, I think it's important to take feedback uh, from your environment. You want to be as closed loop as possible. Uh, if what was bonded to what people said, then we probably would not have been successful. So it's important to look for things like that and focus on them when you see them. And you correct your prior assumptions. I think the thing that drives me is that I want to be able to think about the future and feel good about that. So we're doing what we can to have the future be as good as possible, to be inspired by what is likely to happen and to look forward to the next day. So what really drives me is trying to figure out how to make sure that things are great and going to be so. If you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, I, all a company uh, is this group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. So depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and to the degree in which they're focused cohesively in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to gather great people if you're creating a company. Life can't be just about the solving problems. There have to be things that are exciting and inspiring that make you glad to be alive. I think business is enough for everyone. Uh, generally, starting a business, I'd say no. Uh, one is to have a high paying threshold. When you first start a company, there's lots of optimism and things are great. Happiness at first is high. Then you encounter all sorts of issues and happiness will steadily decline. And then you will go through a whole world of hurt. And then eventually, if you succeed. And in most cases, you will not succeed. If you succeed then, after a long time, you will finally get back to happiness. My theory is like, you'd rather be optimistic. I, I think I'd rather be optimistic and wrong than pessimistic and right. Because if you're pessimistic, it's going to be miserable. Great companies are built on great products. When the product starts to become shoddy and uncompetitive, so does the company. I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. In general, I keep wanting to do the right thing. They want to do what's good. Uh, the issue we have right now is that the rules fundamentally favor um, the bad outcome. When you're fighting for the good outcome and it's an uphill battle, it's just slower. It's just crazy to have the rules of the game favor a bad outcome. When I was in college, I wanted to be involved in things that would change the world. In order to make the right decisions, you have to understand something. If you don't understand something at a detailed level, you cannot make a decision.